Hello, my name is Michelle Nielsen. Exactly 17 months ago today, I walked through the doors of Fit Club West for the first time ever. I signed on that dotted line to commit myself for 21 days and then proceeded to struggle through my first 30 minute workout. Today, 518 days later, I just crushed my 1,000th workout. The biggest changes for me from 100 workouts to 1,000 have been the changes in my body composition, as well as the changes in my physical and mental health. In these 17 months, I've lost 35 pounds, 9% body fat, and 2% visceral fat, and I also gained 4% muscle mass. But more important to me than those numbers are the positive changes in both my physical and mental health. After 10 years, 10 years of being on medication for high blood pressure medication, I am now free of my medication. After being diagnosed two years ago with PTSD, depression, and anxiety, I found myself in a dark place, mad at the world and life, and unsure of where I fit in or how I could keep moving forward. I now live by the motto of Jim is my therapy. Fit Club heals and helps all my moods. It gives me a familiar and comfortable place to sweat or cry it out, sometimes both at once. I am stronger mentally and physically because of the safe and welcoming atmosphere on the blue. My biggest struggle to complete the thousand workouts was my mind. I love my time at Fit Club and I keep pushing myself to do more, but I also need to remind myself it's okay to take a break or not do as many classes in a day. The biggest three factors that contributed to my success were routine, grit, and my full length mirror. I thrive on routine and structure, so all I had to do was make my work out a routine for me. For many months, I was working out at the same time every day. It was comfortable to me and this ensured that I would continue getting my workout in regardless of what else was going on in my life because I scheduled this time for me and my health. Grit and sheer determination. I had to do this. I had to become healthier and stay that way. I had tried so many other fitness and weight loss programs over so many years. Success was there in the short term, but I never maintained it. Here was something finally working for me and I was determined to keep the results and push for better. And then there is that mirror. I had avoided cameras and mirrors for so many years. I was unhappy with myself physically and I certainly didn't want any reminders of how I looked. But once I started seeing results, I couldn't stop looking at myself. Call me vain, but I was so happy to see the muscles and the definition in my legs and my arms, to see a slimmer face, to realize that yes, I have a collarbone and hip bones. The more results I saw in that mirror, the more determined I became to keep pushing forward for more. There are so many people that contributed to my success from the coaches to the members, my friends and family near and far that all continue to provide support and encouragement. I'd be here forever if I named them all or in trouble if I forgot somebody. <laughs> but I will take this time to mention the most special individual in my life, my son, Ryan. He's 21 years old now, but continues to be the best cheerleader I have ever had. He and I have been a pair through so many ups and downs in our lives, but always being together through it. As moms know, we will always have our kids' backs, but I'm so proud to say how much Ryan has my back always supporting and encouraging me, knowing the struggles that I've been through. He still makes me so proud and I feel great knowing I make him proud too. Thank you, kiddo, I love you. This may sound odd, but I actually wouldn't say anything to my past self. It's taken me so many months and years to accept that everything that has happened in my life, the good, the bad, the ugly, that's what makes me who I am today. Everything that I've gone through, I have learned from, whether I realize it or not. It has all opened my eyes and made me realize what I can accomplish and how strong I actually am. Our past is just that, the past. It's all about moving forward, taking the lessons you have learned and applying them to your life, to your present and to your future. But if I did have to say something to my past self, it'd be this, hey you, yes you, the one that must be dragged kicking and screaming to do anything remotely connected with physical activity. What if I told you in the year 2019, not only will you be a gym rat, but you will become upset if something messes with your workout schedule. And you're also pursuing a university degree in kinesiology. A motivational quote that has stuck with me for the last year or so is maybe I haven't changed. Maybe I've just become the person I was always meant to be. 
To anyone that is pursuing their 1000th workout, I say to you what I say to myself, look forward and never give up on yourself. It may seem unattainable, but once you break it down into manageable chunks and goals, you will find yourself closer and closer all the time. Remember, baby steps are still steps forward. How many days a week do you want to work out? How many classes each of those days? Now plan for the day for your next 25 or 50 or 100. Reach that goal, set another run. Remember that this is life too. We all stumble, we all fall, but it's about picking yourself up, dusting yourself off and getting back on track. Don't beat yourself up for it. Recognize your strengths and move forward. You've got this and we've got you.